oh, you can pick. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and so absolutely. For that, learn, learn, learn your trade, and then you know that way when you, you say, hey, no, no, ain't nobody can tell me about this. I did it for free, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> we got to go to a break. We'll come back. We're going to talk more uh, to Sandra about what's taking uh, place at First Pilgrim. Sounds exciting already, but you can be part of it because she's going to tell you how you can get involved with what's taking place at her church. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. Uh, this is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. Plus, two against one is more intimidating when we force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate, as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, I don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you credit life insurance. You don't really need it, but... It puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or... I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit cybertipline.com. And we're back again. We thank you for staying tuned. I told you I was going to give you the information there about you the young man that has a, a, a store. And his name is Burnell uh, Colton. And he even gave me his phone number, and I told him I would, I would let people know about it because, I, I, you know, that, that area is well familiar. And um, um, I was thinking about the side street and everything like that. Caffin is, is the street, and okay. the other street is uh, um, um, right off of Andrew. But, but he's, on, he's on the Caffin side. So um, uh, his phone number is 504-319-5886. 504-319-5886-2036 Caffin Avenue. And the name of it is the, the Lower Night Ward Market. Oh, yeah. that's good. Little Nightwear Market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, no, no, I'm familiar with that. If you, if that's you're from, you're from the Nightwear. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he. he, okay, he so yeah. In other words, he, he's doing the expansion that that he used to have the showdown at the Cafe oh, Showdown. Oh, that's a little. Wait, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, the Cafe. Yeah. I know. I know you from the Nightwear. You know, yeah. you don't want people to know <laughs> no, you used to live no, in the Nightwear. No, no, no. It's yeah, not yeah. that. I, I was, I was just remembering the fact that. We used to go in there, and if you had the bunny bread wrappers. See, you you, you bread probably wrappers. you probably older me because we went in there with, with, with the bottle caps of, of Coca Cola <laughs> yeah, bottle yeah, caps. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. We did. They used to yeah. let us go. You used to go to show with, yeah. with a bottle yeah, cap and, bottle and stuff cap. like that. It's almost yes. like you know what it was. If you say now, it's like proof of purchase, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, proof of right. purchase. I remember right. I said, "Mama, you finish with this bread? I take the bread and take, take the bread out before y'all finish, huh? No, I Ma know. let it go yeah. stale, huh? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, bread I, I went to many a movie. <laughs> I, I saw the blob at the the blob. I saw yeah. The blob what up? Come on, yeah. I know you've seen Superfly over there. <laughs> no, I was uptown by that time. All right, you just moved out the night war. Pardon expression. <laughs> Betsy has moved us up. Move you out the neighborhood. Oh, we moved uptown. But listen, let me tell you about the Epiphany Missionary Baptist Church. They're located at uh, 5200 Kane Street. Reverend Richard Tom Tompkins is the pastor. And they're going to have uh, their annual fall revival. Oh, fall already. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, <laughs> fall. Their fall. Fall, fall revival. Yeah. That's right. Uh, October 5th through the 7th, 7 p.m. nightly. 
And the speakers are that follows on Wednesday, October the 5th, is Pastor Sam Young, Jr., of the Franklin Avenue Franklin Baptist Avenue. Church. Yeah. And then on Thursday, Good October preacher. the 6th, Pastor Larry S. Johnson, Crossroads Community Church. And then Friday, October the 7th, Pastor Lewis Harvey of the Rima Ministries. And all taking place at 5200 Kane Street. That's the Epiphany Missionary Baptist Church. And my friend and Pastor Richard Tompkins. And also let you know that another friend of mine. You know, I got a lot, you of, got a lot of friends. I got, that's pastors too, yeah. I, I heard you say that on, on, on the... Um, uh, Long time ago, there was there, after Katrina. You say, "Oh yeah, I am the people." I am the people. I am the people. You got good memory. Yeah. I, wish, I wish you could find that commercial, but it's lost. That was that was a good stuff. Man. <laughs> it was a, yeah. yeah. Now on Friday, yeah. October twenty first, putting it down on your calendar, uh, it's an evening of celebration. Yeah, it says here, Reverend Reginald A. Landry. Okay. It's gonna be a banquet. Mm. Where there's food? Well, uh, and Deacon going to be there? I don't know. Well, let me see. Is that the first of the church? He probably will. Oh, it's, um, yeah, um, uh, it's going to be at the Fellowship Hall, which is at 1801 Willow Street. And there's a donation you could call to find out about that. But, yeah, my friend and brother, um, Pastor Reginald Landry, and, of course, we uh, thank him. That's on Friday, October 21st, 7 o'clock in the evening. And so uh, that's just a couple of announcements. Now, I know Sister Metz got a couple of things going oh. on in the first Yeah, program. we oh. always, we are. And, and we, 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 we're pleased. We're pl look, can I tell you the best thing you can do is be busy for God. Oh, absolutely. And doing what God called you to do. And then, yeah, look, y'all churches are assets to uh, that by water area. The, 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 I hear your commercial and everything like that talking about the, uh, uh, the upper part of the night ward. Mm -hmm. and, and so the services that y'all render is, is outstanding. And I think y'all have a slate of a whole lot of stuff y'all going to do. We have some yeah. things coming and, and, up. And, and, October's and, and October is going to be oh, a fall. month. A yeah. month. Yeah. Right. Today is the first day of fall. And we uh, have here. I took, uh, was on vacation. Uh, Oh, you know, a little bit uh, back, and uh, I'm hitting the ground, running again, and here we go. And it's a good busy. It's a good busy. Yeah. Uh, we start the month of October off with uh, our men's day. Our brothers will be celebrating annual men's day. Second week in October, we'll be our women come together, the sisterhood led by our first lady, Lady Mitchell. And we'll be doing our Pink Weekend, celebrating uh, National Breast Cancer oh, Weekend. Yeah. So that Sunday, we will uh, celebrate our women's ministry anniversary on that second Sunday. Uh, and two of our evangelists will be speaking, Evangelist Eaglin at the 745 service and Evangelist Michelle Jackson, two great, powerful women of God, will be uh, bringing the messages on that Sunday. Third Sunday, of course, is always uh, Lord's Supper for us. And then on that third Saturday, October 15th, that's a very, very uh, great piece of information I want to put out there to the listening audience, on the, uh, the viewing audience, ready. Rather, on the 15th, our housing division will be sponsoring, and I think it's the last one for this year, their um, housing, community housing and resource fair. So everybody that you can possibly think of will be there, FEMA, SBA, people that may need uh, or have issues with expungement, just all types of services, uh, along with uh, clothing services for the homeless. Uh, then we come back uh, October the 18th, which I think is the third Tuesday of uh -huh. the month, that's and the, that's uh, National Night Out Against Crime, and that we're having a, a Holy Ghost block party, yeah, yeah. on that evening from that's 5 good. to 7.30, and we're going to have speakers, and our young people will be ministering. We'll even have a self-defense presentation, and some of our uh, city leaders, you know, in that area uh, will be coming to uh, present and talk to the people, and we'll have vendors. And then on the 29th of October, uh, we took the, a play off of the word revolution, our outreach ministry, and we call it Servolution. Mm -hmm. So we'll be serving the community again that day with food, clothing, Amen. and with personal care needs. Mm -hmm. So we'll have barbers there, hairstylists doing hair, barbers cutting hair. Uh, we'll have uh, vendors there, Office of Public Health, uh, people from Daughters of Charity. And this, this time, we did our first one back in July, and this one on the 29th of October, we want to bring in dental uh, care and also vision care. All right. So we're looking to just serve the community in every possible way that we can because, of course, if the church ceases to do that, it ceases to be the church. Can I say this to you as, as a congratulations for the work you're doing, but one thing that we observe is that a healthy community is a better community. Absolutely. Because, because yeah. if, you know, Absolutely. if, if you're uh, in a place that you can supply or offer to people health needs, financial needs, mm -hmm. 
then that 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 makes that community so much better. Absolutely. That, you know, I think and a we, lot of we people, see actually yeah. vis visibly see the difference because what we've been doing, our outreach minister is always on the street at some point, you know, doing canvassing door to door, uh, doing uh, you know, passing out of tracks mm -hmm. and distri distributing uh, distributing tracks. But every month now, once a month, we go out as a general church pastors with us, Lady Mitchell's with us, all of the groups are out, the ministry leaders are there. So it's just a great time. We're posted in various locations around the community of our church, and then. We we also, uh, the last time we were out, we also, we may work an apartment. We worked an apartment uh, complex over on Independence mm -hmm. on the other side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. And it was just a blessing to get out and just to be able to talk with people. People, some who already knew the Lord, some who didn't know the Lord, some who had a relationship, but it was rocking. It just needed to kind of reconnect, plug back into the power source. So it's, it was just a great time. And you see, we visibly see the fruit from the labor, yeah, because of course, no no labor, no fruit. Right. So we see the fruit from the labor. I, I and it's, know you're it's always baptizing people and engaging it's them exciting. into a relationship it's with exciting. Christ. So Church is I, growing. I, I know that's a blessing. We, yeah, we've been yeah. blessed. We've been blessed with our uh, Ray Beam ministry. Monday, we call yeah. it. We call it uh, Ray Beam ministry. Ray, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We've been blessed cool. every, every Monday. We we from six to seven o'clock. We give away bread, beans, and awesome. rice, and awesome. people come and. Um, yeah, you keep saying oh, well, well, that. You well, keep well, saying you that. Just, you, you just you told keep me saying. about no, it. No, no, I've been tell telling you, you about it. No. I've been telling you about it because uh, this, we, we always have, have a plate saved for you until you don't show up and we give it away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't say that, huh? We have a plate for oh, plate my 6 o'clock. 6 oh, o'clock. 6 o'clock. 27, 10 Phillips Street. But something's happening at y'all church. Oh, that's true, too. I can't forget about my church. We're having it today, men's day. It's at 2 o'clock p.m. And 3719 Laurel Street, okay. Zion Travelers Second Missionary Baptist Church, uh, Pastor Reverend Eric Layton. And yeah, that's at 2 o'clock. And um, yeah, that's right. That's Men's Day? Men's Day, yeah. Men's Day. Okay. Who's the speaker? Oh, I'm glad, you, I'm glad I'm, you asked me. I feel like I'm being interviewed. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Reverend <laughs> Reginald Landry, <laughs> Reverend Reginald, Reverend Reginald Vonardo. Vonardo. Thank you. Okay. Vonardo okay. of the uh, okay. Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley Pleasant Baptist Valley. Church in yes. New Orleans East. Yes. Yeah, so yes. he's going to be the, and he said he's bringing his men in this choir. So Okay. Awesome. awesome. That sounds awesome. like that's yeah. going to be a great time. A great I, I, time. I can vouch for uh, uh, Reverend uh, Vonardo. He's a, 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 a one of board members of the Louisiana Freeman uh, Missionary Baptist General Association, but also he's a fellow uh, uh, professor at, at Union Baptist College and okay. Theological Seminary. So we, we always see each okay. other, talk to okay. each other and stuff like that and engage each other. Great programs. Uh, I, 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 I have to get him one day to get on the show, but he's always so busy. He has, he has things at his church that you, 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 I mean, what he offers is is. If right. a person now, now that's uh, over on. He's on Morrison. He's on Morrison. Right. I remember right. going Morrison, and doing Morrison an evangelism training yeah. oh, with his oh, people. Yeah. But I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. I, I'll talk to him and stuff like uh, doing summer. Good people. He has, has Good a great people. program, and 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 he offers it to the public. Get out of here. I mean, it's all, it's that's awesome. It. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk to him uh, probably this uh, uh, probably next week and uh, uh, this week maybe this week and talk to him about can I announce some of the some of the things that they. Yeah. Yeah. They do some. That's he, awesome. I had an opportunity. Uh, they had. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, um, um, we, we we got. Um, was it was the thing? Uh, 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 talent. He did like like uh, okay. America's oh, yeah. Got, got Talent. talent. Yeah, he, okay. he did. He did uh, 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 for a couple of years. Yeah, and so, gospel. And so, and so yeah. gospel. You know, whatever whatever they they named it, and we we were uh, the recipients of uh, the winners and the, the runners up. In other words, we had about at least three three of the acts, and they, they came on the show some years ago and stuff like oh, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know, I didn't know okay. you, the people won. Yeah, the people won was uh, uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Bobby Miles, Reverend uh, uh, Robert Miles Church. Uh, okay. They were the dancers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were awesome, man. They were you awesome. know, time passed. That was about yeah. three years ago or something. About that long, two, three years ago. Oh man, so, so that means you are getting old. You, you keep saying you you get younger <laughs> as, as time goes on, backing up your birthday. Uh, Remembering all. He got a birthday days. coming. He got a birthday uh, yeah. coming. Okay. It's not until December, but y'all can start sending cards now. Yeah. <laughs>
we, we have to go again. We want to thank God <laughs> awesome. uh, for, for, for Sandra Metz, First Pilgrim uh, Baptist Amen. Church, uh, Pastor Baptist, Dr. Yes. Eugene Mitchell. We want to thank God for our co hosts, uh, the Reverend uh, uh, Daryl Smith, also DK Smith, 940 AM on your radio, radio dial. We want to thank God uh, for all of you that watch the show. We say to you, go to a church of your choice and worship the Lord. You're always invited to come on out to truly.